All right, so I've heard of Timu and I've looked at it before. Looked kind of like a scam. I didn't even know if it was legit, but I went ahead and did it. I went and placed an order and it came in. So let's go ahead and open up this Timu order and see what I got for $25. So I cut open the bag and that's everything in the bag. All right, so again, I didn't really know what to order. They had a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I did go through it, but a lot of stuff like these were like, I don't know, a dollar a piece, something like that. And these are like these little chargers. My kids are using these all the time and they're always getting broken. But I got, I think, three of those. And I wanna say, after all the little coupon things they do on the site, I think they came out to like less than a dollar a piece. This is a funnel. Actually, this is one of those little funnels that you clamp it onto the side of like, let's say you're putting oil in a small engine. You can just push this over the top of the, where you took the lid off the neck of the oil and you just slide it in there and then you pour it and it keeps it from spilling out everywhere and it goes down through here. So for like, I don't know, 50 cents or so, whatever this ended up being, less than a dollar, I believe, um, it's worth it to have around. And there went my kick on funnels. I also got this for, I think, around a dollar. You know what? I should probably just open it up. So here's the funnel, right? It's got a little holding thing, but it's got this little screw here. So if you want to, hey, look, it even comes with a little screen, I guess, to keep junk out of there. But then you have the funnel, then you can just screw this little piece on here. And now you have a funnel with an extension on it. So yeah, it's cheaper, but you know, when you're in a pinch and you need to put some oil in something, uh, this kind of thing is great for like generators, things like that, that lets you get into a small area and still be flexible. So again, for like a buck, why not? Then I got a couple of these little plastic, these are like little suction cups and basically you push them down and then they suction cup to something and then you squeeze it. This is good if you need to move anything like glass or any kind of flat surface that's not super heavy, these will hold them. And then also these can be used to pull out dents and things out of cars. You just kind of suction cup it on there and pull it real hard and it will pop out, you know, big, easy to pop out dents. I actually got two of these. There's a black one and an orange one. I don't know, useful to have around. This again was pretty cheap. This is one of those things that you put on the top of like a spray can, like a spray paint can or something like that. You put it in here, snaps on, and then you pull the little trigger right here and it sprays. It keeps you from getting paint and stuff on your hands. This was a three pack of little scissors. Again, most of this stuff averaged out to about a dollar because I believe there was 26 items in this order. So here are three little scissor like things and you just basically can just squeeze these to cut off. I think a lot of the people use these for like when they're doing sewing and threading, but they actually work pretty good on cutting anything like that. So these are always useful to have around. And again, you know, don't, don't expect the case to do too well, but again, you know, for as cheap as they were, they'll work. These, I got two of these actually. And these, if you go and try to buy these on like Amazon or something, they're going to be you know, maybe a two pack for 10 bucks or something, but I wanna say these were like 50 cents a piece, something like that. Um, I got two of them and these work great. It's all according to the kind of air compressor you have, but if you have one of those ones that twist on, this makes it where you don't have to sit there and twist it every time. You twist it onto this and then now you just have this locking one here. And even if you don't, even if you have the ones that pop open, you have to push them on, then you pop it down. Those are kind of a pain. These make it where you have a lockable valve stem end and these actually work really cool. I should have probably bought like 10 of these, but I got two of them. This is a little weird thing. This is actually kind of like a belt and I got this for when I'm working. I don't like wearing belts too much because I do a lot of bending and they get in the way, but this is actually something where if your pants are a little big, you can wear this as a belt, but it goes around your belt loops in the front. So you don't have to keep undoing your belt. So let's say you're out in the woods and you need to, you know, go take a whiz or whatever. Uh, if you're a guy, it makes it easier. But anyways, you can just put this on. It acts like a belt, but it doesn't cover your button or your snap on your pants. Anyways, it was like less than a buck, so I ended up just getting it. 
I, uh, let's see, what is this? I got one of these, I believe. This is just a keychain that again was cheap. And this one, well, you can see what it says, right? Anyway, so I got this one almost as a gift to me, I guess, because my wife would probably say this is meant for me. And then I got two of these, actually. Again, you can see what it says there. I got these for the kids. I have two teenage boys, so that was pretty applicable to them. Then I got two of these. These are actually a different type of way to fill in a nail hole in your tire. So basically, you these have a screwdriver head in one side of them, and you can just basically use a screwdriver after you've pulled out whatever is there causing the problem for the hole or the, the, yeah, the hole in your tire. And then these have like a little screwdriver head on the end of them. And you just basically screw this into the hole and they're threaded and it's supposed to seal the tire. So I'm gonna actually try these out and see how good these are. I'll do another review on how well they work. But, you know, again, these were like a buck a bag and I think there was like 20 in a bag. I am always puncturing holes in things, especially at our land. So those would be useful. This is just a digital caliber, so it lets you, you know, measure, you know, the sizes of things. It turns on and off based upon the movement, and you can switch between like inch and millimeter, and you can zero it out if it's not accurate when you start. But, you know, these don't have to be super accurate for me because I don't really work in things that are typically really, really important to be how super thin they are. But I need to know a basic measurement of how big something is. Like I'll pick up a drill bit and I'll go, I don't even know what size drill bit this is. I'll try it, make sure it's half an inch, you know, things like that. So it doesn't have to be perfect and don't expect perfect out of these when you get this for, I don't know, a dollar, but it actually works. I mean, I, for a dollar, it works. Um, let's see what else. This was a set of sewing needles and I do use sewing needles a lot of times just to repair like maybe something in a car or something on the boat. But the cool thing about these were they weren't needles that you needed to push the thread through because I'm getting older. I have a hard time not only putting the thread through, but even seeing the hole. So these have just like a little cut in the side of them. It's not a complete hole and it, to thread them, you just kind of slide the thread in. So for again, for like a dollar, I think it was, it even comes with a little wooden case. I figured I'd try them out. So this is a simple tool to measure the depth on something. I really got it to just measure the depth on tire tread. I'm gonna have that around. I'll probably put it with my air compressor just so I can see. All right, we're getting down towards some of the bottoms. This is another funnel. This one folds flat, it said, and then when you need it, it pops out. And then when you don't need it anymore, you're supposed to be able to just push it back down. Eh, it actually went back down. And again, I don't know, less than a dollar. So I think this was one of the more expensive ones. I think it was like $3 or something like that. And this is just one of those tools that you'll see people advertising where you want to measure like around a molding or something, you know, you, you press it and then you can come back and draw it with your pencil. And then that way, you know exactly how to cut that out with like a jigsaw, you know, so you can draw it. So anyways, I figured I'd try it out pretty cheap. This, which is double bagged, is basically a cleaning tool that looks like it just snaps onto here and here. So this tool's job here is to let you clean your windshield. At least that's one of the things you can do with it. And I don't know about you, but I always have a hard time getting really far down into those small crevices of the windshield. And this just basically supposed to go over this. It's pretty tight, so I guess that's good though, so it won't come off. And then you use this part here and you literally just kind of like slide it on your windshield to get you know all of the haze and everything that eventually builds up on your windshield. I guess you could put some Windex or something on it. But either way, uh, again, I think it's like $1.50, something like that. You know, it's a reaching tool, useful. And then this is an ODB2 Bluetooth reader. And again, I think this was like a buck 50, something like that, maybe $2. If you go on Amazon or something like that, I think the cheapest one you're gonna find like this is maybe around $10. So, you know, again, it's pretty cheap. I don't know what's on the disc, probably some kind of software for your computer, but this um, I'm gonna hook up to my phone and see if it will work with some of the software that I have on my phone. But again, I gotta try it. I'll try different pieces of this out in other videos 
Don't want this to get too long, but basically that is all the stuff that I got. And with all the coupons and everything from Timu, it came up to just a little bit over $25. I basically put it like the last less than a dollar piece on there just to get it over 25 to qualify for the coupons and everything that it had. And yeah, it showed up. I didn't know if it was going to show up or not. It did. So I would say they are legit. Now it did take quite a while to get here. I think it took about a month. So, you know, their estimates for how long it would take to arrive was pretty accurate. So when you order it, you know, expect you know what they say they're going to do and i think if it arrives late they even give you like an extra five dollars to spend on their site next time and it was free shipping so if you like the video please subscribe to the channel that really helps me out and it lets me do more stuff like this and you'll get to come back and see all the reviews on you know all these little items that i got i may give another order because there was still some stuff i was adding to the list uh when i did the cutoff on this order so let me know also if you've tried timu goods bads you know, what have you experienced from that company? If you'll put that down below in the comments. And again, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care.